All right, so today what we're going to be looking at is creating the Arbor Press part. Uh, this is the second part that you need to create for Activity 7.2 Section Views. Um, so let's get started. Now, as we look at this part here on the sheet, um, probably the best way to start with this is to start a new 2D sketch and this time we're going to start it in the XZ plane. And I'm just going to draw the basic shape using the line tool. So I'm going to start with that top corner there and drag that down uh, a little bit right there over down to get that notch. Okay, over again, out, back, and then up. Now, uh, notice how those things are perpendicular, so we'll grab the perpendicular constraint, and that all looks pretty good um, right there. Now, next thing we got to do is we got to put in some dimensions. So. This is 2.5 width. Okay, and we'll bring that out to get it on the full screen. Um, then the next dimension is going to be um, width from this back line over to this point right here. And so that is 2.19 inches. And then we want the bottom line to this point right here. That's gonna be 0 0.69 inches. And then our next one is from the bottom line again to this particular dot, and that is 0 0.938. And from this line to this corner right here, we want that to be 1.1015. And that takes care of all of those dimensions um, on that side. Now let's come over to the other side here. My overall width, 2.865. And my overall length to this corner right here needs to be 3.5. I believe that is all of the dimensions that we're going to need to extrude the part. Then it says we're going to extrude this to a one inch height. So I'm going to finish my sketch, uh, put this in the middle here and extrude. And I want that to one inch. And there's my basic looking part. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a sketch and put our holes in. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the top, move that into position here, and let's go with this hole um, that's right there in the center. So everything's going to line up here on this center line, but we'll dimension that a bit later. So remember with holes, you want a point. And actually we are going to have two points um, that line up and we'll talk about what to do with the second point in just a few minutes. So if I take my dimension here, I know that my middle hole is 1.062 inches from the left. So I'm going to grab that. 
and it is 1.438 inches from the top edge. So I start with the top, bring that over 1.438 and notice how it moves down just slightly. Okay. My second point, I'm going to do the same thing. This one is half inch on the left and it is also 1.438. So what I can do now is I can make this, um, I can either put in a dimension or I can make those lines collinear. I think I'll just put in a dimension 1.438 for that one also. So those holes line up that way. And so now I'm gonna finish my sketch and you have these points. Now I'm gonna let you do the whole notations and the fillets and radiuses on your own, okay? So remember that the circle with the line through it is a diameter and the arrow going down is a depth. And remember to share your sketch. Then I'm gonna move my view cube around to the front and I'm gonna start a 2D sketch, this time on that face right there. And this is gonna be a little tricky to see, but we will um, definitely get it sorted out. So here, uh, I want a hole, so I'm gonna put a point in the middle. And this one is half an inch from the top. So I'll grab this to my point, Bring that over, type in 0 0.5, and that is positioned correctly. And now notice I don't get a line going the other way from the left side, but if I look at my drawing, all of these holes are lined up along the center line, and I know that that center line is 1.438 inches. So I grab this left edge, and bring it out to my dot and up, and I'm gonna type 1.438, and then my point is center. And make sure that you read the hole notes um, for each of the holes. And then the last thing you will need to do is you will need to use a chamfer on the top side. So the chamfer is 45 degrees times 0 0.06 inches so don't forget about that again this is only a partial part i'm going to leave it up to you guys to finish the rest of it so thanks for watching uh hit that like button and we'll see you next time